I think of Peter Forsberg, I, I think the ultimate competitor. He was a warrior on the ice. We knew his skill, his vision, playmaking ability was, was tops in the league, but uh, physically, you couldn't outmatch him. He was so strong in that puck. That's what made him so tough to play against. Peter's uh, demeanor, he was quiet, great guy to be around, never took himself serious, very humble man, just a great teammate to be around. But once he got on the ice, uh, you could see it in his eyes uh, when he wanted to do something out there. He was a uh, totally different guy, very intense, very focused. Peter was a guy that uh, when when he was feeling it and he wanted to take the game over, he did that uh, both with his hockey sense and, and his physical nature. Here comes Forsberg. Peter played through a lot of pain. Whatever he could do to get on the ice, he would do, and, and he, he wouldn't make excuses. Peter just went out there and played as hard as he could, and, and, and for the most part, dominated a lot of the games. Peter was remarkable um, in that run, and the best memory I have of that one is uh, he's in the Stanley Cup Finals game, too. Florida played remarkably well. Getting to that point, we're shutting down a lot of top guys, uh, and that was the talk, and Peter really set the tone for our entire club. He was so good that night. That really kind of, uh, I won't say cemented uh, uh, the championship, but uh, really gave us that, that confidence uh, going into Florida. I'm out there to win, and it doesn't matter if you do you do good personally. If you lose the game, it's, it's you know it's worth nothing. He's got a stamp, uh, <laughs> stamp in Sweden uh, with his picture of that goal in uh, uh, 94. And Peter Forsberg, obviously, uh, especially was uh, uh, as he was to our, us in Colorado. I can only imagine how special he was to, to everybody in Sweden. Just a hero there. Two Olympic gold medals, two world championships. He did it all. Forsberg is open, cuts around the goal. Peter Forsberg deserves to be in the Hall of Fame because right from the moment he started to the day he retired, he possessed the greatest hockey sense, the greatest vision, uh, playmaking ability in the league during those years. And combine that, he was also the most physical player on the puck. And his strength allowed him to really be the one player in the league throughout his career that, uh, that he couldn't stop. And it was a very, very tough night for the opposing teams when they played against Peter Forsberg. And, I mean, he was uh, not just physical and have the hockey sense, but he was the best at both, and there's not too many guys in the history of the league that can say that.